Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is Clockwork here, and we're playing Dual Universe for another episode. Uh, we're going to try to get the Sentinel off the planet um, and into in, into our space station. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I was a little nervous about getting this thing up in the air, so I, I did uh, add some more stuff to it from the other episode. I added more space engines, added... I think two more um, large engines and just little odds and ends to try to get this thing into space. And I'm still I'm still gonna work on the look, but um, I'm really trying to make it functional right now. And we'll see what we can do. Got my responder with me. Now I'm bringing my other ship. So that way, if um, if I do if I do need to pull it somewhere else, I will. Sorry, I had to get some coffee. I'm just waking up. So my idea was um, get this up in space, then use my other ship to move around. So I don't use as much fuel. Yeah, by then I knew I was petering out <clears throat> and um, I was trying to see if I was going to um, make it and then I made the dumbest move right here. I turned around just like that and that was stupid. I'm dropping like a rock right now. I do have weight on this. I have a, I think 180 ton on that. But she managed to pull out. I don't know, like I was lucky on that. I will never do that. So then I come back and I change up the orientation of the engines and add some more stuff. I'm like, all right, we're getting out. Here we go. And I am I am um, putting a lot of skills in my piloting, but you know it takes a lot of time. Like I think one skill is like thirty three days or whatever for the higher tier skills. And still with those engines, but two more, uh, three more large engines. I'm still struggling. But we just got the orange, so we're good. Yeah, like, I'm starting to realize that we got to go higher tier with the engines. Um, where I'm at now, I'm not going to spoil anything, but... There's different tiers, so you can get the basic stuff, which is just a large basic, um, or you can get like a like a freight class or military class or maneuveral class or whatever, and it has different stats for it, which I don't really see too much difference, but it is a lot harder to build them. And then I'm realizing that the mediums last a lot longer than the larges, right? 
So, like, I'm wondering if I just need more mediums because the larges will carry the weight, you know? Like, I think I'm fine with the weight itself. Like, I'd probably carry a, a lot of it, but to actually get out in the space, I think I need more mediums or vertical boosters to, to punch through. So I don't know, I have to kind of do my research on that. But, so yeah, we did get through the sound barrier right now and um, we are starting to head to the space station. And, I, and, and <clears throat> right when you get a ship and you go into space, you get a little nervous. So, you know, I don't think I even give above like four grand here. But I'm gonna fast forward to when we're, we're docking. And here we go. It's, it drives like a dream though. It really does. I love it. I love the design of it. Everything about it, it's, it's been really nice. Now I'm just trying to line her up and cruise right in there. Do a little flippy flip. I'm trying to orientate her a little better. best thing to do um if you have like a small space station like this <clears throat> is if you can't like just jump jump out and grab your ship um then just log out you know and log back in because it will stop your ship and then then get off your ship and then pull it with the tool it's a lot easier than trying to like make it work Now I'm wondering with a bigger core, will it like give it more gravity where it doesn't move? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but so pretty much I'm just trying to get as close as I can so that way I can log out and I can manipulate my ship to on top of uh, the cube, I like to call it, like the Star Trek, the cube. But um, yeah, and then I wanna unload it get all, all the way off it. But I noticed I was drifting back, like right here, I'm drifting back, so just log out, do it again. So, what I did off camera was, uh, I, got, I got it, and I put it on tap, and I moved around a bunch of the industry. Did a little screenshot right there. This is before I found out how to do it without the HUD. Yeah, now it's time to make the industry. Just gonna lay it out a little bit. I know I can't really work on it, but. But I'm finding out in space, uh, it costs more stuff to run it. So, like on Earth, we're on the but atmosphere, it costs like 480 to run <coughs> some of your raw resources. While up here, it costs 520. So that does play a factor. But I don't know. I think it'll be fine. I mean, you're not wasting so much fuel and resources by running back and forth, so I think that's that's why it is what it is. But I mean, you don't have to have your main factory in space or on the ground. I mean, it all depends. But I probably have my main factory on Sanctuary, but definitely a good one in space, another one. Yeah, 
right now. I'm just trying to unload uh, the ship. If I move the big ship, it moves and vice versa. So I don't know what's going on. So I don't physically drive it. And it's okay, but if I use the, the tool, then it starts acting up, you know what I mean? It's like starts coming with it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this uh, space station. I mean, the cube just, you know, seems all right. I don't know how I'm gonna add to it. Alright guys, well in the next episode, um, we're going to be going to the moon, the other moon, and um, we're going to be harvesting some resources and then coming back and building up our spaceship, our space station. <sighs> thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, hit that like button, and um, have a good day, see you.